WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets in positive territory, but we just had quite a pullback. We'll jump over to the charts in a moment. Dow Jones, positive 87 points, trading at 26,001. S&P is positive by eight, trading at 28.49. And then NASDAQ, positive by 32 points, trading at 77.46. And before we do, we're gonna jump around the bit on this update because we got to get right over to the charts. Talk about that pullback. So 15 minutes ago, before we come on the air, you were trading in the futures at almost 26,100, and you saw a drop. These are five-minute bars, just making sure. Quite a drop in the Dow. You go from 26,092 to 25,959. You're talking about 130 Dow points. We're getting a bit of a bounce, but nonetheless, S&P's pretty similar story. And what is driving that bounce to the downside? There's your headline coming across right 15 minutes ago as U.S. officials said to see China walking back trade pledges. So the market a little freaked out that those trade talks might not be going as well as we had all hoped. Chinese negotiators have shifted their stance with the view that while they have agreed to changes to their intellectual property policies, one of the big factors there, uh, negotiating over. They haven't received assurances from the Trump administration that tariffs imposed on their exports would be lifted. So some of those U.S. officials concerned that China pushing back against American demands in trade talks as progress slows toward a deal that could give Trump a boost as 2020 approaches. So that's a little context. Jumping back to the charts, we got the S&Ps trading at 2849. NASDAQ 100 currently trading 73.96. Pretty interesting. We dropped right to that lower range, and now we're kind of right in the middle of where we've been trading. Crude oil, volatility as well, almost made it up to $60 today, $59.84 at about 7 a.m. Currently, you have crude trading at 59.11. We'll get the API number for crude, 4.30 Eastern time today. Gold contract trading at 1306.67 and pound US dollar currently trading 132.79. 10 days to go until Brexit and uh, we're at that deadline. And as we do it, I'm going to just jump to that Euro US dollar as well. Come on, maybe it's not cooperating. That's all right. What we will do, we'll jump to those currencies right there. We're going to see the dollar index in the top left. There's your euro trading 113.52, yen 111.33, and pound 132.80. Stay tuned, folks. Replay of Steve Rhodes. He did a great show at 8 a.m. this morning. Coming up right now.